Today's video, we're going to be checking out the Pixel Pals Super Mario Brothers. This is Pixel Pals number 9, 8-bit edition Mario. Just in case you're curious as to how tall Mario is, he stands almost exactly 5 inches. I've already gone ahead and put the batteries into the back of the Pixel Pals Mario. None of the Pixel Pals come with batteries, but it takes a simple two AAA batteries to power these guys. Uh, back, by the way, on the back, flip that around, we got Pixel Pals Super Mario Brothers. It says right there, it takes two AAA batteries and the website pdp.com in China. We slot that into place. Go ahead and hit the switch to turn him on and you can get something that goes from this to something that looks like this now i will have to admit though uh while i do appreciate the fact it looks really bright here i can't help but think that 8-bit mario here looks a little on the yellowy side and now that the light is projecting through him and i'm wondering if it's because if we switch him off again he seems like these are the more more natural colors of him, the browns and then the flesh tone. By then projecting light through it, it does give him a slight more of a yellowy tone. Now granted, we're going to go ahead and switch the lights off too. And we'll see if he looks as good or if he looks the same uh, in darkness as he does in light. With the lights off, you can see how bright Pixel Mario uh, shows here. And he actually does really do a great job of projecting light. Like here he is against, well, the backdrop of my hand. You can see how bright he is projecting out the light. I don't think maybe it looks, now with the lights off, I don't think it looks as yellowy as it did with the lights on. Um, again, I think these look really great as as lights really in your room. So if you're having like a gaming room, it'd be fun to have a whole bunch of friends over and just kind of turn the lights down and then just turn on the Pixel Pals to project the light for the room here. Unlike the Mega Man that we had a look at though, it's unfortunate that the, I guess these are one of the older ones, they don't have the proper means to hold the standalone. I'm just going to go ahead and take these out. It helps if I had better nails. There we go. Take the batteries out. There we go. Uh, unlike the Mega Man, who you could replace out with the battery pack, this is the standalone Pixel Pals battery pack, you charge it with a micro USB cable, which is also included, and it gives you battery power, so you don't have to necessarily use batteries. Unfortunately, though, it doesn't fit Mario. There's no there's no way you can actually fit this inside Mario's uh, battery pack. So while it does seem to work with some, it unfortunately doesn't work at all with Mario. Despite the fact that it doesn't allow you to use the battery pack, it's still a really nice representation of Mario. I also love the fact that they have this really dark outline to them as well, so that the battery or the pixels don't run to the, the, the full edge of the Pixel Pal. So even if you have it on display, the very dark panel lining around the outside really makes the piece stand out. And speaking of standing, these stand perfectly fine. Uh, Pixel Pals also released, of course, a whole ton of different property, you know, like Ren and Stimpy, Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, DC Comics, and so on and so forth. We're going to have a look at all of those on this channel. But I definitely wanted to have a look at uh, Super Mario first and foremost, or not first. First we looked at Mega Man, but I definitely wanted to look at some of the Mario figures as well because they look like they've been taken right out of the game. And I really like, if any figures deserve that pixelized treatment, it might as well be figures that, well, characters that were based on days when they could only be uh, represented here in pixel form. I absolutely adore you, Pixel Pals. More importantly, I absolutely adore you, Pixel Pals 8-bit Mario. This is like one of those figures, this one of those no-brainers that if there ever was to be a pixel line, oh wait, there is, Pixel Pals. A pixelized Mario probably would have been first and foremost, I think, on their list. And then ultimately, he ended up being number nine. So I'd be curious to know some of the figures that were released prior to 8-bit Mario. Um, of course, they released a whole bunch of other Marios as well, one of which being the Raccoon Mario. There was one from Mario World. We're going to have a look at those all in separate videos. 
If you guys are interested in checking out more of Pixel Pals, I'll put the information down below in the video description. If you guys are also looking to pick these up for yourself, you can find them at some gaming stores and comic book stores. I have now since recently found these at my comic book store, and they're selling them for about $15. So they're not overly expensive, but they're really exceptional looking pieces that you want to put on display, not only in a gaming room, but just in a collection all around. Uh, today, though, we were having a look at the Pixel Pals Super Mario. This was Pixel Pals number 9, and this was the 8-bit edition of Mario. If you guys like this video, certainly hit it with a like down below, and if you haven't had a chance to hit that little subscribe button down below, what are you waiting for? Certainly more videos will be coming your way, guys. If you want to also head over to my channel and check out my playlist, I've got Pixel Pals heading, well, it's right over there. If you guys want to head over there, check out all the Pixel Pal reviews in the playlist section. See you guys next time.